Monumental Mondragon. Mondragon is a municipality with a highly valuable historical and cultural biography. From the past to the present times, all its history is reflected in its buildings, streets, squares, parks, gardens. There is also a monumental Mondragon with features which allow us to learn about its identity, valuing the traces of time left in the villa. It is imperative to know its historical centre. It is an intricate medieval network of streets and cantons which used to be a walled enclosure. Its characteristic oval shape, its hallways and its buildings make up a building set which has been declared historical monumental site. Within this enclosure we can admire its Gothic church in honour of Saint John the Baptist, patron saint of the villa, one of the oldest in Gipuzkoa. There are references of its existence from the 13th century. It is remarkable that the economic contribution and work of the citizens of Mondragon was a key factor for its construction and further modifications. In the same way we can discover the 18th century Baroque Town Hall. It was constructed with stones from Mount Udalaj of Mondragon. It has interesting features both on its facade and inside the building. Its stairway and the plenary hall are worth mentioning. The Villa Square is located between the church and the town hall, meeting centre and witness of most of the historical events occurred in the town. As well as in the historical centre, as in the outskirts of the villa, several palaces and noble houses can be admired. Thus we can see the palace of Bañez de Artasubiaga, closely linked to the factional war which took place in the villa during the Middle Age. It has a remarkable history, since the owners set their belongings in the district of Bedonia on fire before moving to the palace to prevent it falling into the hands of their enemy, the Count of Oñati from the Guevaras. The palace and the Cano Loyola, located in the same square, is just another of the architectural wonders which draws our attention. Built in the 17th century in the Herrera style, hides behind its gallery a stone facade with its coat of arms. Once in the suburb of Tharugalde, we come across the palace of Monterron. It was built by the counts of the same name and it shows a Baroque Herrera style. Many kings, queens and estate representatives have passed through this palace. Today, it is the head office of the music school Arasate Musical. It is outstanding because of its lush gardens. At the Arrabal de Mala, emblematic monuments were also built. For instance, the Palace of Oquendo from the 17th century. We cannot help citing in this tour the church and convent of St. Francis. It is believed that the mortal remains of Esteban de Garibay y Zamayoa, illustrious son of the villa and author of the first history of Spain in the 16th century, are laid to rest in this site. The convent is today the culture center of Mondragón, Culturate. Mondragón, its districts and surroundings guard many architectural treasures. We are talking about its workers' houses, caserios. The true and original construction of the Basque character is a rural production unit which is a representative of the most genuine Basque prototypes around the Basque country. 
Similarly, we can find hermitages and churches in its districts which have their best exponents in the hermitage of San Valerio de Meat Ereca, in Santa Eulalia of Bedoña, or the Church of St. Michael, among others. Mondragón owns many examples of the industrial architecture of the 19th and 20th centuries. Witness of former productive times, which have played such a relevant role in the forging of the villa's personality. We may cite, for example, the industrial complexes of the Unión Cerrajera and Elma, or the so-called small houses, which constitute the city garden urban model and which were built by the Unión Cerrajera in 1920. At the same time, the savant guard buildings have been brought into light, creating a contrast with the old constructions. Thus, we may point out the so-called slope of Olandisho, where we can find the most important locations of the cooperative experience of Mondragón. Likewise, the Garaya Technopole, which is a window to the future for this entrepreneurial community.